Hey there everyone, my name is Kevin Bartz. I'm gonna be taking you through this comparison presentation of three learning management systems, better known as LMSs. Uh, we have Absorb, Cypher Learning, and Docebo that we're gonna be taking a look at. Um, the organization that we will be looking at uh, one of these LMSs for uh, is about a 2,500 employee organization. The learning team consists of two instructional designers, four trainers, a data analyst, and a vice president of learning. Um, so all of those factors will go into play as we are looking to select one of these three LMSs. Um, a little bit about the structure of this presentation is we will go one by one um, and look at each one of these. Um, so we'll kick off with Absorb. We'll take a look at some of the key features that uh, perk the interest of our organization and then the benefits that that feature would provide us. Um, so we'll do that for each one of these LMSs. We'll look at the challenges that there may be associated with that particular LMS and then we'll close each section with uh, just some final thoughts, kind of wrap everything up in a nice little bow. Um, before moving on to the next LMS. Um, so without further ado, we will jump right in and we will look at Absorb. So uh, the first two features of Absorb that we want to take a look at are the advanced administrative control as well as the dynamic learner experience. Um, so this is kind of capturing from both ends um, as the admin experience and then on the uh, user end. So for that admin experience, um, Absorb kind of markets it as you'll spend less time on busy work. That kind of comes through a lot, little bit with some of their automation. Uh, what, you know, those reports automatically generated showing up in the appropriate people's uh, email boxes. We've also got a custom analytics dashboard. Um, they call this Analyze. It's kind of similar to a business intelligence tool. Uh, you can kind of pick out the data that you want. You can filter it down um, if you have different areas within your organization. So for example, my organization, we have um, three different branches of military service that we provide housing. Uh, so that's kind of how we define different groups, uh, Navy, Air Force, Army. So that's an excellent tool for us. The final benefit of these advanced administrative control is kind of come going to come through with being the, able to enable your leaders. You can provide them uh, with some of these analytics and dashboards to kind of manage their team. So that's trickling down from you as an admin of the LMS can kind of provide uh, some of that access to your leader so they can lead their team, um, which is really nice because we don't want to kind of strip that power um, from a local leadership level. Um, so now flipping over to that learner experience, uh, course enrollments are simplified. Absorb makes it super easy. Uh, you just kind of click on a, if it's a live course, you can kind of click on that live course, show you on a calendar uh, when sessions are offered and when they're available. And then it's just a couple clicks and you are enrolled. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, you can make a personalized to-do list, which helps kind of prioritize uh, what you need to complete as a learner when you need to complete that by. Um, and then finally, um, so this can kind of go on both ends from the admin and the learner, but in the learner facing experience, uh, the verbiage is customizable so that you can use your organization's verbiage uh, to kind of fit um, and help your learners understand uh, different things within the LMS. So that's kind of nice to be able to use a common language that you would use already in your organization. So a couple other features we wanted to take a look at for Absorb, um, and that's really the in-depth reports and the data that is available within this uh, LMS. Um, and then a newer kind of function in Absorb is Absorb Pinpoint, um, which again is kind of a learner facing uh, feature. So we'll look at that in just a moment. Um, but to start with those in-depth reports and data, so they kind of track and accumulate data from all different angles within the LMS. Um, and it really helps you to prove trainings return on investment. So it's not just seen as 
a true cost center, kind of you're getting something back for the cost that um, is associated with a, a training department. Um, again, we talked about it in the previous slide, but there is that built-in business intelligence tool, which is called Analyze. Um, these are customized reports. Um, you can set filters so that they populate exactly the data that you want. As soon as you open that up, you can set up different reports from an admin level to push out to your team members and users and leaders. Um, and again, that comes back to that customizable stock report templates. So those templates are there, you pick and choose what you need, um, and then you just have what you need, and then you can export that out um, into Excel uh, or however works best for your organization. So then uh, absorb pinpoint, this is a really cool feature. Uh, you can, it will take a video learning um, and it will kind of transcribe it put it into chunked content, uh, which kind of makes little micro learning videos from a larger video. Uh, it is searchable so the learner can search through and find exactly what they need. If there's only a little bit of content that they need, you know, they don't have to watch a 24 minute learning video. They can chunk down into, you know, the two or three, two minute sections that they may need. Um, and then there is reporting at that, uh, level as as well. Uh, so it's kind of a higher level data analytics, which takes a look at search terms um, and things of that nature. Um, most search terms, most common things people are watching and looking at uh, that's chunked out from larger learning solutions. So pretty cool little feature there as well. And uh, we will now look at the challenges associated with Absorb. So just from an outsider looking in, Absorb does have an opaque pricing model. You kind of got to go through a whole long process to figure out exactly what uh, this LMS would cost for your organization. Um, that's, you know, based on what support level you pick. Um, and the highest level of support is very costly. That pricing is kind of out there to see. Um, so there is built in very basic support that goes along with uh, just a general um, account. Uh, but again, if you do want that advanced support, you have to add on. And then there's even more add-ons that are available based on uh, features that you select. Um, and again, all of that is kind of hidden until you get into the process with an Absorb representative. Um, general consensus kind of out there is that the mobile app performs pretty poorly. So uh, your organization may not need the function of a mobile app. I know for me, mine um, doesn't really do much of the on the training end from the mobile app. So not a huge downfall for us, but um, it could be if that is something that is useful within your organization. Um, and then one last thing that has just kind of been a personal experience with Absorb, and that is they rush their new features to market um, before kind of fully vetting them, fully make, making sure they're fully functional. They uh, provide value to um, the users. So uh, some one other challenge that is presented with Absorb. So quick wrap up on Absorb before we move into Cypher. Um, the layout on Absorb is clean and coherent. Um, things are placed well. You can kind of see exactly what's going on. You know how to navigate pretty. As soon as you log in as a brand new user um, on the back end from the admin level, fairly simple as well. The reporting, um, it's simple yet informative. Again, it's pretty customizable, um, but fairly basic data that does come out from that. Um, as I mentioned with the clean and coherent feel, it is a very user-friendly LMS. Um, and again, it does have a lot of learner-centered centered features that we talked about. Um, not a ton of integrations that are talked about or praised through Absorb, but again, uh, for our organization, that's not a huge, huge deal with how we function. Um, and again, the admin piece is made fairly simple. Um, to be able to keep up and see what's going on, give users access and different levels of access. So uh, nice little feature there as well. 
So those are kind of our final thoughts on Absorb. Um, and now we will get into Cypher learning. Uh, so from the research, it seems that Cypher um, is kind of got more of that startup techie vibe than Absorb. Absorb seems like a very uh, strong educational solution, while Cypher is kind of more of a techie solution. Um, but a couple of the key features are personalized skills development um, and intelligent automation. So they really, really harp on kind of what the technology can do. So personalized skills development, they kind of um, push out learning solutions to users based on their competencies, what they see, their patterns of um, success within trainings that they're completing. And then all of that kind of is automated on the back end. So there's no manual admin to kind of push out those maybe skilled courses that they need a little work in. Um, it all happens on the back end automatically. So kind of an interesting concept. Um, and again, kind of moving into that intelligent automation so you get that auto enrollment, which is nice. Um, another really cool feature I found was, or benefit to this automation is the reminders that are automatically generated for your learner um, based on inactivity. So if they have a course that they is coming due and they maybe haven't touched it in 10 days, it will send an automatic reminder, say, hey, you haven't been in here in, in this long. So hop in there and take a look. Um, so that's really nice. And then you can set different automatic triggers based on groups, how you group people, teams, departments, uh, skills, things of that nature. A uh, couple more features for Cypher, um, built-in content creation, another thing feature that they're pushing pretty strongly, and then the custom administration. So uh, you can create things directly in the MLS, LMS, sorry, um, and those can be as simple as just a micro learning video that you kind of just plop into one of their templates and, and it's uploaded. Um, but it does have the ability to embed any type of media that you would like, whether it be slides, video, audio, anything of that nature. Um, and then there's also third party content that's available that you can kind of pull from a content library and create into content right within that LMS and push out pretty quickly. Um, so we touched on it a little bit, but that custom administration, you can organize employees by their department, kind of makes them a team. You know, your environmental team may have to take some courses that aren't going to be relevant uh, to the finance team. So you can have those organizations set up and then push out courses um, appropriately. Um, again, that's where that course catalogs for specific departments would come into play. Uh, and then there are nine different user accounts from super admin all the way down to learner with varying levels of uh, capabilities and permissions. So again, um, within our organization, that could be helpful uh, how um, certain people and users can function within the LMS. So again, from some of the challenges with the Cypher platform, uh, reports can be convoluted. So they kind of get that analysis by paralysis by analysis concept going on here. Um, they can do so much and provide so much data that it becomes too much um, and kind of bogs things down and makes it hard to interpret what you truly need. Uh, the third party integrations are limited here as well. Um, again, not a huge challenge from my organization's perspective, um, but it could be. I'll add another challenge here, which I mentioned earlier as well, and that's kind of that startup feel um, for kind of a well developed, long standing organization. Uh, there could be potential challenges working with an organization that's kind of got that startup vibe, tech startup vibe coming. And then um, general consensus also out there is that the emergency support is difficult to access. So if you need help uh, at the drop of a dime, um, that can be hard to access from this organization. Uh, some final thoughts. They are really keen on this upskilling 
concept. So that's kind of enhancing some of those uh, soft skills that you may need as an employee. Um, another of their big, big emphasis is in selling points is the, what they can automate. Uh, you know, that content creation right in the LMS is kind of cool, um, depending on what kind of content you're trying to push out. Um, so the admin side is really your way. You kind of lay it out, do set it up how you want it to look. And then the layout on the user experience uh, is really sleek, nice layout, nice design. Um, there are a couple places where the toolbars get to be a little much, where they have a kind of too many options shown, um, where it could be kind of confusing for a learner, especially depending on what type of learning your organization pushes out. All right, so we are going to get into our final LMS, which is Docebo. Um, and this is a huge, huge tech platform, um, really advanced. So the first two features, like I just said, advanced technology development, um, and then social learning platform. So again, a learner focused thing that kind of is really developed here within this software, which is really, really neat. Um, but we'll start with that advanced technology development. Um, I mean, their list of software integrations is huge. Um, it's 400 plus. So again, that part of their software is super, super developed. Their mobile app, big, robust, powerful, um, spent a lot of money um, developing that as well. And then finally, uh, they leverage some AI technology in different aspects of uh, their platform. So pretty cool. Then the social learning platform. Um, and what that is, is it's, it kind of, it can leverage some of your high performers and their knowledge that they have. Um, you know, in a lot of training environments, you always preach that uh, others can learn more from their peers than the trainer themselves. So uh, they've kind of taken that concept and implemented it into their LMS, which is really neat. There's a hub for learner questions, um, another really neat thing. Um, and then kind of all of the pieces that they have available adds uh, a sense of that informal learning. Again, that peer-to-peer -peer learning, um, not necessarily e-learning or live IVLT, I um, things of that nature, um, kind of an in, informal element. So um, just another added benefit, another um, exceptional way for individuals to learn. Um, next, we have content, 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 and connected data. So um, the amount of stock content available is seemingly unlimited. Um, they are ready to go dynamic. Uh, however, some of them make some of these stock, this stock content may cost extra. Um, kind of that's a theme with Docebo is everything costs extra. Um, however, the content is always fresh. So you can have soft skill classes and instead of something repeating, uh, you can take and change what's being offered to kind of give a different perspective, different lesson. Um, and then again, the diversification of the catalog is huge. There's so much that it offers. Um, connected data. So what this is, is this can kind of connect with if your uh, BI solution that you may have. Um, we use Power BI here. So that may be something to where data can pull directly from this LMS and put it into that, uh, whatever our metrics may be. Um, and again, this is a great way to show learning's impact on the overall success of the business. And of course, with something where money is poured into that tech, uh, the data is organized and kind of in a ready to analyze package. Um, that's how it's kind of processed out to you as the end user or admin. Some of the challenges um, so Docebo is tailored more for the large organization and maybe the organization with a uh, deeper pocket. Um, support can be hard to reach, which we know can, uh, if something pops up in the LMS that you need help with, 
um, you want to be able to reach support. So that could be a large challenge. Um, general consensus out in the community is that course feedback needs some work. Um, and that there's a large learning curve on the admin side just because it is such a robust, well-developed technology. There is so much, um, and it would be impossible to kind of learn everything uh, immediately, quickly. So some final thoughts here. Um, it utilizes various methods of learning. So that's e-learning, live instructor-led tech. Uh, courses, uh, informal, peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. Um, this software really does have that wow factor with how much it does provide and how, mu how many enhancements are available. Um, you can, again, see how much money they've invested in their tech and the development of their software. Um, there's a ton of non-proprietary com content, uh, but, you know, kind of, Everything is at a cost. Um, so you're kind of going to just see your price keep increasing as you keep building out your LMS um, with all the extra add-ons. So I have taken the three LMSs that we looked at. I pulled out three of the key benefits or features that I really think are important to the organization. And I've kind of compiled them here. So you see we have Absorb. They've got that custom analytics dashboard. They've got the focus learning piece. Um, and they do provide data that helps you prove training's ROI. Uh, Cypher, they do have that competency-based learning. So that, again, helps learners work on what they need to work on. Um, the reminders based on inactivity in a course I thought was a really neat feature. Could be very helpful. Keep uh, within compliance on course completion, and then creating those course catalogs based on department, which would could be very helpful. And finally, Docebo. Again, we hit on the software integrations, seemingly limitless uh, integrations of software. Um, you are you do have the ability to leverage your high performers' knowledge in kind of a social, informal learning environment, peer to peer. Um, and then you can show learning's impact on overall business, um, which again is a really, really key piece when you see training as just a cost center, you kind of have to uh, pitch some of that reward that comes with that cost as well. Um, so with all of that information, uh, it did come to a decision on which LMS would work best for my organization. Um, and that is Absorb. Um, so Absorb does plenty. It does what we need it to do for our training team. Again, we have a smaller size training team, um, really about seven individuals, but only two are working on the admin side of learning um, within that LMS. Um, so Docebo kind of too big of a beast, even though we are a larger organization on the employee side, the learning team, not quite so much. Um, so kind of that admin burden that Docheba may require uh, got just going to be too much um, for us. The costs may be driven up too high as well uh, to kind of get really what we need from Docebo. Uh, Cypher, again, um, Cypher just kind of had that feeling, that vibe, that structure that was not really aligned with us as an organization. Uh, kind of more of a techie feel, startup feel. Um, <clears throat> and that just really doesn't kind of match with our company culture and what we want out of our learning solution uh, software. So kind of that's really where that didn't fit. Um, had a couple nice things that would have been helpful, but the, the true benefits did not outweigh, um, just kind of wasn't what wasn't there. And then we do have Absorb. Again, uh, Absorb does every single thing that we need it to do. Um, it does feel like a true uh, learning software organization rather than that kind of techie feel. Um, 
<clears throat> they do kind of put out new features. Sometimes they're rushed to market a little bit, but uh, they kind of do get worked out. Um, the data analytics is really nice. Um, they do have their own built-in kind of business intelligence dashboard from a learning perspective. Um, well, it may not integrate directly with um, the whole company BI software, um, that's okay. Not necessarily necessary for our organization. Um, there is some stock content that comes along with Absorb um, and which is nice and, and easy to use. We don't generally do a lot of stock content in that nature. Um, so that's really, again, not another huge selling factor. Um, and then kind of the user experience. The user experience is very clean and organized, uh, customized to uh, brand appropriate. Um, so just some really uh, functional options. And um, that's really what Absorb uh, comes down to is ease of use, functionality, um, and that's ease of use on the user end, the admin end, um, both sides. So that's, that's what makes Absorb the choice that is uh, best for my organization. Um, so hopefully you found this informative and you got some insights on uh, some different LMSs that are available. Um, and I really enjoyed getting to share this information with everyone. Thank you.